Hey John, it's Gary. Um, wanted to do a, a quick video for you and also uh, use this to share with other people that have been wondering how do you get the A5 onto the trailer and why is this trailer $38,900? $38, I'm going to show you. The short answer to it is because me by myself, I'm going to try everything I can do to get this airplane on this trailer in less than 10 minutes. So. What we're gonna do, this airplane is like fly ready right now. We're gonna prep it for the trailer and we're gonna get it on the trailer, all right? So here we go. First thing we're gonna do is the, there are tail tips on the horizontal stabilizer, pretty much the tail piece right here, right? There are these tail tips. These tail tips are gonna come off. Now you can put them in your vehicle or you can put them inside the A5. They actually fit right in the cup holder and that's one and here is number two so this goes in like so and then i'm going to close this canopy i'm not going to lock it quite yet so then all of this that you see here is all the things that I'm going to need to prep this. Now, obviously I gotta fold the wings. I'm gonna fold the wings and I'm gonna fold the right one first. And then I'm gonna put this as a barrier between the wing and the, um, and the tail of the airplane. So fold the wing. Da 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 And then grab this piece. And what this piece does is it acts as a barrier between the the wing and the tail so that way you're not chipping it away, chipping away at the paint. Uh, grab the second one. Doing this. Truth be told, sometimes if you have help doing this, it makes it harder. Help tends to ask questions. You do it by yourself or you're at an airport that's not too busy, or a boat ramp, you get it done pretty quick once you're used to this. I've been doing this for about eight months. Um, first time I, I, you know, it was a while before I actually had my hands on a trailer at this company. So once I started doing this, I was about this proficient in about four months time. Um, the first time you do this, these are gonna secure the wings. The first time you do this probably should take you about 20 minutes. Now, once you do it from there, once you start doing it from there pretty often, you can get it done in about 10. And if I wasn't explaining this, I would probably be starting working on the trailer itself right now. So this is the second one. It's just a wing secure strap. It's windy today. go and then I'm gonna get the tail cone and the, the spars these spars are really what keep everything rigid and hold everything in place
And then each of these straps has a buckle that you pull. And now I'm ready to go ahead and put it on the trailer. I'm gonna show you what I use that for. That's a technically not part of the kit, but I use it as a very smart way. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop the ramps on the trailer. There's a uh, control unit over here that you can use. And so drop the ramps. And the next thing I need to do is I need to get this winch cable out. So there's a pin that holds the cable in. I remove the pin and then uh, it is free now. Now there are two ways you can do this. You can either unlock it, which is what I'm gonna do for time's sake. You can unlock the winch and then now you can run it down. But we have a wireless remote for this winch as well. And what this remote does is it allows you to uh, unload the, unspool the winch completely wirelessly, which is why it's called a wireless winch and you're smart enough to realize that. So once you bring it all the way down, lock it again, and now airplane's ready to be rolled on to the ramp. So we're gonna go ahead, push it. And it is a windy day, if you couldn't already tell. So that's when having a second person actually would come in handy because if it's windy, doing this by yourself, it can get away from you. All right, now I'm here. And I've got the bow, clamp, bow ring clamp. I'm gonna open the bow ring clamp, put the bow ring in, and then there is a cotter pin that secures it in place. Cool. And that's in place. And now I'm going to grab my wireless remote that I love talking about and turn it on. Keep tension on this on this cable because otherwise it can't get away from you. I'm going to let the trailer do the work now. I'm going to put a little, a uh, couple things I'm going to be careful of. I want to make sure it stays on the track in order to do that. I'm just keeping an eye on it. Keep pressure on it. As it comes up, I'm just gonna put this pin in. There it is. Pin is in. There's another cotter pin for this pin. And then there's a safety strap that also goes around the bow ring. And this takes a few more seconds. This is probably my least favorite part because it's like you gotta have tiny fingers to do this, but I don't mind. Let's see, cool. Now, okay, so now we're pretty much on the trailer. We just need to do a couple more things. We're going to raise the whole airplane, we're going to retract the landing gear, and then we're going to drop it and it's going to sit even lower. So in order to do that, I'm going to go ahead and push this button. The bunks are going to come up and watch it raise. All right, so it's up. So now I'm going to retract the landing gear. And so in order to do that, I got to turn the plane on. So what I'm going to do, not the engine, just the plane. So the gears, verify the gears down, turn the master switch on, pull the gear up, and then just watch. Is it going up? It's going up, clear, clear. And the other side is up as well. And so that's good. 
can turn the master off. And then I'm gonna go down after I put it into water mode. So water mode allows it to now go lower. I can verify it's in water mode. There's a switch that goes up on, on one side and then these clamps actually are, I'm gonna visually make sure that they're out of the way. So it's going down. All right, all the way down. Ramps coming up. And then I've got three points I'm gonna secure it on. I've got one up front here. And I've got winch straps that I pull to make it tight. And I've got two more winch straps that I'm gonna pull off as well. So this strap goes in here. You push that handle to secure it in. Winch strap here. Winch strap on the other side. And almost done. The last item is just this piece right here. What I do, this is actually a chalk, but it's got a, a band around it. So I'm gonna put this band around the control stick and that's gonna keep the elevator from swinging out while I'm, when I'm on the road. It provides forward pressure, which is what I want on this trailer. I want forward pressure. And guys, that's it. I'm ready to rock and roll. So uh, John, I hope that this explains everything. And for everybody else, I was curious, how do I get this thing on the trailer and how do I move it everywhere? That's it. At this point, now I just pretty much drive off into the sunset and I would if that wasn't cheesy. So guys, see you later. I lied, I'm driving off into the sunset. <laughs>